Hey guys, it's Firefly Kiri, and we're back with another episode of The Walking Dead. We are picking up exactly where we left off. <laughs> So, if y'all have enjoyed the series so far, make sure you hit the like Kenny, button. You okay, man? Kenny? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. like duck, don't he? It's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out of here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can, Lee. Oh, man. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. I can't ask you to do this, man. I'll take care of it like I did before. Are you sure? I guess we'll find out. This must have been where he slept. We gotta take care of the kid. Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been Clementine. Feels. I'm sorry. should bury him. Yeah. I'll take care of it. So we, uh, I couldn't let, I couldn't let Kenny do it.
my. Hey! Hey! Who are you? What the hell do you want from us? Lee, what's going on? I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. I bet you ain't think that's who it is. Jenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. I don't either, Maybe. Ben. Walkers are one thing. But the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. I don't know if it's safe to leave just yet. Why the hell not? Walkers look to have cleared out. That's not all I'm worried about. So you'd rather just hunker down here and just let whoever's out there keep us boxed in? Wait for them to starve us out? No thanks. I hate to say it, but Kenny's right. Omid's not in great shape to move, but we can't do anything for him here. Without meds or a doctor, he's only gonna get worse. All right, all right. I'll head to the river with Kenny to scope out a boat while you get Omid ready to move. What about me? You'll stay here with the group. You'll only slow us down. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know, it. it's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. Come on. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's yeah. burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. I just want to keep Clem safe. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? No offense, Ben, but I'd feel safer if you stayed here. How am I supposed to not take offense to that? What am I, a liability? Great. Just great. Thanks a lot for the vote of confidence. Confidence is earned, Ben. And you've got a long way to go to earn yours back after some of the stuff you pulled. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. Sorry, Ben. But you need to stay here because you did not protect Clementine. You've, you screwed the group over by giving the, the bandits meds. Got... Oh, got Doug killed. No. Your eye out for Chuck. He might be waiting for us around here. Yeah, sure. Son of a bitch! That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. There goes the dead. Oh. What in the hell is going on? I have no 
idea, but someone must be ready to go out. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. Hm. Let's keep moving. Let's look around, try to find something. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh my god. Oh, shit. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. Are you sure about that? Doesn't look like it to me. Maybe we need to start thinking about a plan B. This is the plan. It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Screw you. I ain't giving up that easy. This one might still be salvageable. Seriously? You got a better fucking idea? I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Alright, let's go. Kenny... I'm trying to be as nice as possible with Kenny, but great. Needs a quarter to work. Solid. Oh, God. Fuck. Is this meant to be some kind of warning? We'll do something like this. I don't like this. We don't need to shoot them. What the hell are these markings? They're all over the place. Let's see if there's any quarters in here. Let's go talk to Kenny again. You got a quarter on you? Don't have a lot of use for small change these days. Maybe you can find one on the street somewhere. Okay. Thank you, Kenny. If there's one in the car. Yeah, siphon, tires removed, engine parts missing. Looks like this thing has been stripped clean. Looks like it's still intact. Locked. Mm. All right. Let's check out. 
I should probably stick close to Kenny. It's too dangerous out here. I was just trying to see if we could check the car out. Someone already looted the place. Could be military tags, but what do they mean? See no coins or anything. Oh, I really don't want to shoot those things. I don't see a quarter anywhere, nothing. All right. Yeah, see? Using walkers like scarecrows. What sick bastard did this? I can't find no god dang quarter. Just let him do his thing. Jesus. Wait. I don't think that was a thing before. Looks like the whole city has been boarded up for all the good it did. Okay, can't go that way. I, I don't know any. I don't know what else to do here. Wait, did we check the truck? Someone must have been trying to back their boat into the water. Only things didn't go as planned. Exactly a welcome banner. That ain't gonna work. Don't think I'm gonna see anything until I find a quarter. Okay. But where's the quarter? It's like finding a daggone needle in a haystack. to board up all these windows. I don't... I, I don't see... Don't see a quarter anywhere. Uh... I don't know where to find this quarter. Hmm. All right. Let's try this. Got a quarter. Hey, 
we got a quarter. We got a quarter. We got a quarter. Fuck! What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hulls crack beneath the water line. Well, someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? What the... What the hell is that? A fate worse than death. Abandoned. Like every other place in this city. sign of any boats down there. No way that one's salvageable. <laughs> the Talmadge Memorial Bridge. Can't imagine how many people tried to escape across it when the city started to fall. Nothing but water. Not a boat to be seen. Stand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Sounds like a plan. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, taken by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. from Crawford. Crawford? What the hell are you talking about? Kenny, no, it's not our guy! No, he's with us! Are you people? I asked you first. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. I'm not looking for any trouble. Hi. Mm. Hi. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? That is. Everything beyond that barricade. What the hell happened to you? You sure you want to know? Yeah. When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? 
let's just say they have a zero tolerance policy for anyone who won't or can't live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived, while the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. What exactly did Crawford do with all these burdens? What happened to them? Well, you met some of them already. Oh, Fuck man. me. Yeah, anyone who got sick, anyone too old, anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. To them, those people were just mouths to feed, a drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Do you know who's been rigging those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the hmm. dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast. Get in and out before they start to wander back again. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Came down here looking for a boat. Hoping to get our people out of here and find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You wanna keep your voice down? <laughs> I like her! Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before... Great. Just wait. Isn't that the... Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a... Hey, you're just gonna leave us here? Sorry, I must have missed that part of our conversation where you became my problem. Don't leave us here, please! Come on, make it fast!
Oh. I'm good. We're safe. We're safe. And we'll find out what happens next time. So remember, guys, be good, stay safe, but always have fun, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.